Hey guys, today I'm starting a new format on my YouTube channel, which will be built in public. I will be documenting my journey from zero to million dollars. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Oleg. I am ex-AI engineer from three billion dollar tech firms. In 2024, I quit my job to start an AI automation agency in the niche of marketing and content creation. And I started growing my YouTube channel around this topic. I've grown into 13K subscribers. I've closed seven B2B deals from that. And I was doing all that using NA10, a framework for AI automations and AI agents building. And now I'm building a million dollar AI startup in public using all that. So here's my vision. Here's the service that I want to sell. It's authentic personal brand on LinkedIn and X for business owners through AI systems for content creation. And the main premise here is that a founder will be able to spend less than 30 minutes per week to get a whole week worth of content, high quality viral content that is attracting right people. And you might be asking why to build a personal brand in the first place? Well, there are three main reasons to do that. First of all, you will get more customers, especially if you are selling B2B. Second, you will be able to hire better people because you have a warm audience who already know you, who already trust you. And finally, you'll be able to attract investors and partners in your business, especially if you're building a startup. And here's the dream outcome of you having a huge audience, having the right influence and impact and growing your business successfully. And I have the why behind this company. I'm building it not only for the sake of money. I believe that authenticity wins both in real life and on social media, and especially in the age of AI slow. Just as a side note, I'm building all that from Dubai. As you can see, the, here is a super beautiful view of the downtown. We have this channel that is going up to the downtown and then to the sea. And uh, right now is the season in Dubai, to be honest, like it's the end of November. The weather is awesome, but we still have to lock in and build a great product. So now let me show you the real example of my customer, how the content that is generated with our AI system looks for him. So here is Mike. He's a co-founder of NP Digital. It is one of the biggest marketing agencies in the United States. They're making more than 100 billion per year. And he wanted to automate his personal brand, right? So let's scroll down. As you can see, we have 13,000 followers. And here are the latest posts. Here are some of the examples that we did together. Here is one. Stop our building your content team. You can scale creative work without film days or highly cruise. And then he's showing his business advice that is coming from his actual life experience, how to manage content teams more efficiently. And you have this super authentic image of him actually taken in real life. So as you can see, the post looks absolutely like it is Mike because it is actually Mike. AI does just a little bit of packaging on top of it. And then the post got over 80 likes, 11 comments and two reposts. Here is another post, which is text only from two months ago. It has 43 likes, 10 comments. So as you can see, the content is already decent. It is already getting engagement, but I know that it can be so much more viral. And now I will be building a super cool feature for my product. AI will be finding interesting trending topics on the web that are happening right now that are viral in your niche. And then it will be giving you this stuff so you can record your take on it. AI will be even suggesting what are the opinions that you can share, what are the stories that you can tell that are from your experience. So we can then create an interesting piece of content that is speaking about a very trending topic right now. So I just built out this simple automation in just 15 minutes. It was very simple prompting task basically and now I'm waiting until this thing is executed and I will check out the test results for my client. So I've just finished this feature and as you can see the results here. So here on the right side we have three interesting topics for the conversation. The first one, Nvidia's 57 billion quarter. Jensen Flang says they're in a no-win situation despite record AI growth. So this is the sub workflow. This is kind of a building block of the bigger system. And let me show you how it all integrates in the system for the content creation. So here is uh, as a, a part of the bigger workflow for my client. And here we will take already used topics. So we want the system to never repeat the topics. So for that reason, we're curating the topics that we've already used here inside the Notion as the main like management dashboard here. Here are the topics, so we'll be storing them every single time. Then we're using this sub workflow right here to generate new topics, do the web research and whatnot. And then we are basically sending every single topic as a Telegram message and marking it in Notion as used. 
So as you can see, we'll go back to Telegram and here we got three messages. Super easy, you're just uh, pressing reply and then you're just recording a message with, with your answer. And based on that, the system will generate a piece of content that is tailored to your audience, that is in your tone of voice, and then you'll be able to slightly tweak it and then automatically publish it. So this is a new feature and I'm excited to test it with my clients and on my profile as well. So right now I'll be building a pitch deck, a presentation about my vision for this product and for my YouTube channel, how I'm building in public, how I want to develop the whole brand around it. And um, I'll be pitching it for a creative director. It's a guy who is my client, the guy from the Netherlands. He have worked with huge brands like Nike or MediaMarkt. He just offered as a friendly support to review my vision, my branding uh, ideas, and uh, he will just brainstorm it with me and share some of his thoughts on that. So now I'll be building this pitch deck and I have a meeting with him in one hour. So I have to be really, really quick. And since we are building everything in NA10, I want to show you quickly how the overall system looks like so you understand that it is actually not that hard to build an MVP using NA10 and it is super convenient. So here is the like main folder with the workflows that we're using with my client Mike and this is the foundation of the system. So I'll just show it to you real quick. So first of all, we have this module that is about questions and answers. As you can see right here, we have three different pieces to it. So in the middle is the workflow that basically generates high quality questions and that sends them via Telegram. Then on the upper side, here is the module that I added recently about trending topics. So it is doing the web research, analyzing what are the interesting conversations that are happening in the niche that are relevant to this person. And then we're also getting questions from that. And finally, here's the part which is um, in charge of the content generation. So we're receiving a message, we're basically transcribing it, and then we're generating two versions for the post short and long. And then we're setting everything to the Notion database. In case of Mike, we're using Notion, but in other cases, we're using Google Sheet. So it's like just two different solutions for the database. They're both convenient and easy to set up. And then we have the automatic publishing. So basically we will select the best, the higher priority posts that we have right now in the queue, already approved and uh, adjusted. So we're happy with it. And then basically this workflow will run every single day, select the best post available, automatically publish it on LinkedIn and X through the tool called plotata.com very convenient and then we'll basically mark all that stuff as used in our database so we're not posting it again right so this was another one another one is content creation from meetings so basically with Mike we have two mechanisms one is answering questions and based on that generating content another one is when AI is listening to all of the meetings from like his business conversations, from his mentoring calls, et cetera, et cetera. And then based on that, AI is extracting ideas for content and generates content based on that. So here is the workflow for the content generation right here. The same flow, very similar prompts. Here we're generating short post, long post, and here we're selecting an image that will be a supplementary image for this post as well. And then finally, we have this uh, two, two workflows, meeting capture manual and meeting capture. Basically, both of them are uh, designed to take the transcript of the meeting and then uh, find out interesting content ideas and then save it to the database. So here is the, the main one, which is not manual, which is the actual meeting capture. We're using the tool called fireflies.ai. It's one of the most popular tools to get the AI meeting notes, AI that is listening, understanding what's going on. And basically, we have the API connection set up with them. And now we're just getting the transcript uh, classifying the meeting, getting content, content ideas, and then saving it to a separate database. And then there, all the content is generated. And with the manual approach, it's the same thing, but you can manually upload the transcript. This is kind of the outline. It's not that hard to build. It's just an MVP. And the beautiful thing about it is that you don't really need a fancy UI, a fancy front end. That's exactly what you need to iterate, improve your product. And once in my case, I solved the problem of creating high quality viral content and authentic content using AI, then I can think about front end later on down the line. And now I wanted to show you something real quick. Here's the post from Mike, 
which is using this new feature that I have just added that is giving him a trending topic inside his niche, then he's recording his take on it, and now we're automatically publishing it. So as you can see, it got 28 likes, two comments, two reposts, which is quite good. And here we're basically talking about the, the Jeff Bezos returning to a CEO role for his AI startup. And Mike is saying, companies perform differently when the founder shows up daily. And then he added his own personal story, how him and Neil Patel, they returned back to managing the, their SEO tool called Ubersuggest. Like this is uh, a proper SaaS to help companies uh, grow their SEO revenue. And basically he's saying, we, we are back with Neil and we hired some of the good like uh, C-level managers and now we're growing. Here's, here are the features that we added, blah, 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 blah. So we're adding a personal and authentic twist to a trending topic and that's why it works. At the end, I want to share with you an emotion. For the first time throughout a very like long period of time, maybe a year or three years, I'm feeling that I'm doing something meaningful, that I'm chasing a purpose. I'm building an AI system for authentic content creation and the idea of authenticity and honesty resonates with me so deeply because I've been suffering from being inauthentic, dishonest, and I believe that this is wrong way. And if you are honest, then your life gets so much easier, so much more comfortable and happy. Yes, you have to have like not comfortable conversations, but this is like taking only this level of energy. Once you overcome that, then you are being free, you are being open. And uh, I believe that this approach also wins on social media. If you want to be truly growing huge audience, you have to be authentic. You have to be yourself. And I want to serve this purpose with my product. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you like to support me, please subscribe to my LinkedIn and Twitter. The links are down below. You can follow me along the way, see how the journey evolves, how I'm performing on LinkedIn in the real life, how I'm performing on X in the real life. And please share in the comments down below, what are you building with AI? What is your journey? What are the struggles that you are facing right now? And let's support each other. Let's go.